What is up guys, Teresa Duarte Game here giving my top 5 characters to return to Street Fighter 5. Since the last character of Season 1 batch is out, I'm hoping Capcom is considering more characters to do in the next batch. You know, like a Season 2 kind of thing, you know, something like Killer Instant did on the Xbox One. So yeah, here's like my top 5 characters I really want to see in Street Fighter characters. Starting off with number 5, which is Makoto. I would like to see what Capcom does with this character in terms of looks, movesets. I also like to see what they do with her theme as well because I loved her Street Fighter 4 and 3 themes. Like I'm still listening to it up to this day. I really love it. And my guess for a free trigger would be that weird red mode she goes into when she's angry, like super pissed off or some shit. I don't know. And if I go into her critical art, I would say it could be the Senju Sengu Sasuki. For those of you know don't knows what it is, it's usually her Ultra One and uh, thing in um, Street Fighter Four series. And I don't know what is considered Street Fighter Three. I think it's one as well. It's basically you know a punching combo where it sends your opponent up in the air and. Street Fighter 3, you can do more combos into it, where Street Fighter 4, they kind of just went. It's cutscene mode, they're not going to do anything more after that. Um, as for Fee Skill, I, I, I don't really have any clue about that one. Um, next character is going to be um, Cody. I would like to see what they do with Cody in terms of character-wise, because I was thinking maybe he finally gets let out of prison. But he still has the urge to fight, and then he keeps the chains to hold him back because he's one of the three characters who uses handicapped. And maybe they give they give him back his final fight look from the first final fight game because you know he's been in prison since then. Well, the end of final fight, like towards final fight two. Yeah, he's been in prison since there, so I think you know just give him back his clothes and he just keeps the chains on. But or you know, whatever look you give him, as long as you keep him with the chains and his arms and legs, that's. That's all I asked for. Uh, my idea for the fee trigger could be is him breaking the chains, and this is where his move set takes a change, and then he gains a small speed advantage and small attack advantage boost. You know, small enough to keep the game still balanced. Uh, you know, so that everyone doesn't go online. Well, that everyone doesn't go online or tournaments and start you know abusing Cody, something like that. So just make it something. Make it like a small, small speed boost, small attack boost, just something that will make it still balanced, like how you, how well they keep the game balanced so far. Uh, for his critical art, I would say his combo criminal upper, because that's always been his main thing. Um, I'm not sure if... I don't, I'm not sure if he's still going to do the same thing without the chains, if you're going to do like V trigger into into his, uh, into his um, critical art. Um, for his fee skill, my guess could be the bingo punch. You know, when you hold the punch button in, in the Street Fighter 4 versions, he does like some nets punch that can also, that does like, that's like a combo ender, or it could be like a starter in Street Fighter 4. Depends where you look at it. Um, number three in this list, um, this character hasn't really been explored much. He's only been in Street Fighter 3, and this character is another person who uses handicap and is Oro. Um, Capcom is teasing him in his fr in the friggin prologues. He's been seen with Dalcian and Karen prologues. I mean come on man just put Oro in the game. Give the fans more insight and capability on the man who beat Ryu with the one arm handicap. And you know what? Just surprise me on everything because we I don't know about this guy. The fans probably don't know about this guy. And all, and you know you know, he was looking for a successor, so, you know, show us how strong he is. That's that's what I ask. Um, number two in this list. Um, this was actually quite hard to decide, because I had um, a few characters in mind for uh, this list. Number two, I decided to put on Rose. Why did I put on Rose? Well, I don't know. I just put on Rose because, given her history with Bison, and the way she, she finished her Street Fighter 4 arcade ending, where it says she still has many work left to do, I'd say, yeah, the Rose could, could fit in. Um, I say she would work really well in the game, especially with the crush counter system, um, depending on the, the move they assign it to, because, you know, Capcom has chosen the wrong moves to assign crush counter onto some for some characters. 
I'm not gonna say who. <laughs> but yeah, um, for a feature trigger, I would say Soul Satellite or Soul Illusion. The Soul sat Satellite is the two energy balls that just floats around and, you know, kind of just there for defensive reasons, whereas Soul Illusion is basically like, um, is it the Vism in Street Fighter Alpha? It's kind of like that, but it's just um, Rose's version where she just gains more combo capabilities, you know, does more combos and stuff. And for a critical art, it could be Ultimate or a Soul Spark, since, you know, Bison's on Ultimate Cycle Crusher, right? Yeah. For number one, I did this for the fans. I really did it for the fans, because I'm a fan of Street Fighter as well. And then when I got to Street Fighter 3, I was investing in his characters as well as the fans. Um, he, was he was one of the first names that popped up when Street Fighter 4 had that, well, Ultra Street Fighter 4 had that, you know, mystery character thing. And he was another. He was another. He was the same name that popped up when Street Fighter Five showed us the shadow barriers of the five first wave of DLC characters. And this guy is Q. Give us what we want, Capcom, from this mystery fighter. From like you tease, you you were teasing him like, oh, mystery fighter Street Fighter Four. Who could it be? Then you just give us, you know, the Capri. Yeah, we're not gonna talk about that. You know, we're not gonna talk about the Capri, but it was good for story wise. But you know, you kind of tease it with a mystery fighter. We all guessed, like, Q. And then, you know, you decide to bring in a new fighter. Well, new... Uh, I'm not, not going to get into that. And then Street Fighter Five, when... Before the game was even announced, we was, we was shown to five banners of shadow characters. And we all was trying to decipher which character could it be, why would it make sense. And, you know, everyone fought Q because, you know, it's the bridge between 4 and 3. Uh, there's just so many hints, and there's nothing to get. Like, there's not a trace of him t in Street Fighter Four or, f or or Five. No trace of him whatsoever. I say bring him in, like just as a character. And you know, what? forget it. Just surprise me with new sets. Just surprise me. Um, yeah, even if it's not for story purposes, just put him in for the fans. Come on, Capcom. That's the least you can do for us. Anyway, that's it for my top five characters list for Street Fighter Five. Hope you enjoy leave me a like um share and subscribe because it helps me matt out and as i always say people stay safe stay safe